What's going on YouTube? This is Tutorial TV, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to save presets in Premiere Pro. For those of you guys who do not know what a preset is, it is basically a effect, a certain effect, um, which you've customized to your liking, and then you've saved it as a preset. So when you go into your presets folder, you can just drag it onto the video clip, and the effect will already be configured the way that you want it. So if you, you know, create a specific color correction that you really like and you don't want to have to, you know, readjust the settings every time, then you can just drag it into the presets folder and then drag it onto your audio clip every or your video clip every single time and you don't have to readjust the effect. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and it just takes a second. So let's find an effect to make a preset for. I usually do color corrections, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's let's do a brightness and contrast. Oops, we need a uh, video clip for this, so drag that in, and we'll do brightness and contrast. So look at our uh, effects section here, and let's you know turn up the brightness. It doesn't really matter. We'll get creative with this. Let's just say I really like this effect, and I really want to use this exact effect all the time, and I don't want to have to readjust the brightness and the contrast every time. What I'm going to do is right-click the Brightness and Contrast title right here, or Control-click, however you want to do it, and just click Save Preset. Now I would definitely rename it something rather than just brightness and contrast preset because if you're like me, you make a preset for everything, absolutely everything. If I like something, I make a preset for it and you want to be very specific with your name so that you can find it again. So I would name it, um, I don't know, I, I guess <laughs> for this particular situation I don't really have another good name. Uh, I'll just call it tutorial preset because it's the one that I use in the tutorial. So now you can go to your presets folder right here and you can see I've got a bunch of presets. I usually have a bunch more but um, uh, but a lot of them are on my other computer. So I'm just going to drag in the clip again and you guys are not going to see the effect on it because I just dragged it and it's a fresh clip and I'm just going to drag tutorial preset in and there we go the effect is applied. You can see the settings are already configured and the preset is ready to go. So, I mean, this is, if you guys really take advantage of the presets, it's going to really make your workflow a lot more efficient and your editing is going to be that much better. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you have any more additional tutorials you'd like done, please inbox me or tweet them at me. I'm checking my Twitter all the time, so make sure you reach me there. Um, but until next time, guys, I will see you later.